welcome to the final episode. And the sun has arrived. We begin day six at a relaxed pace. We've come 43 miles already, and all the major rapids are behind us. It's a day for relaxing. We're only planning to go about eight miles today, leaving a few for tomorrow morning. Then we'll find a place to camp, somewhere with some climbable cliffs nearby. Here's a beautiful little spring with a shady little repairing area. How about you, buddy? But I see some big rock back in there. Just gorging on these water bugs. I'm standing on top of a cliff across the river from where we've camped. I've set up a climbing anchor and uh, we're going to get started doing some climbing this afternoon. And there's our camp. Final camp. sets on our final night on the river, I can't help but feel a little blue. Of course we're anxious to see our loved ones, but we've just been treated to an incredible week. And as we get back on the river in the morning, we consider all the wildlife we've seen, the fact that the weather has been perfect the whole trip, the vast canyons, rapids, and rock formations we've seen. Maybe more important is what we haven't seen. No contact with the outside world, other than a periodic GPS check-in. We haven't emailed anyone, texted anyone, called anyone, or even seen anyone in a week. But all things have their natural end, and eventually so too must this trip. We make it to the takeout at the bridge with no difficulty. Thanks for coming along on this journey with us. This episode we started up here where the uh, camp was with the reeds came down here camped this is our final camp where we did the climbing and now coming down the river we found ourselves at the takeout here this is the bridge just upstream from Roosevelt Lake Roosevelt Lake in Roosevelt Lake the Salt River is joined by Tonto Creek to form Roosevelt Lake and then uh, here's Apache Lake Canyon Lake, Saguaro Lake, the Lower Salt River here, 
and then the city of Phoenix, which arguably would not have been possible without this great river.